Uh, Senator uh, Lee Ross with Fox News. If you could be so kind as to take me back uh, a week ago to the decision that you and Senator Lieberman had to issue the subpoenas to the Defense Department and the Justice Department related to the Fort Hood investigation. Why was that necessary, and what's the status of those subpoenas right now? Well, today at noontime, the deadline expired for the Department of Defense and the Department of Justice to turn over the documents and give us access to witnesses that are absolutely vital for our independent bipartisan investigation of the Fort Hood shooting. It, is, it has been extremely frustrating. We have written letter after letter. We've had conference call after conference call with the administration officials to try to work out a system where we would have access to the information we need to conduct an investigation into the poor information sharing that might have prevented the Fort Hood shooting. This is important. It speaks to the laws and policies that are in place, and we cannot reform those laws and policies if we do not have a full understanding of what happened, of why the Joint Terrorism Task Forces did not share vital, relevant, alarming information with the Army about Major Hassan, for example. Senator Lieberman and I would never take actions that would compromise the prosecution of Major Hassan. That is a complete red herring. Senator Lieberman's a former attorney general. Both of us are known for being responsible in our approach to investigations. We've conducted bipartisan investigations on all sorts of issues, and it is very frustrating and offensive that the administration is given access to some of the same documents and the same people to their hand-picked investigators but won't give official congressional investigators access to that same material. So we're going to pursue this. We did reach an accommodation to give us access to Major Hassan's personnel file, which, by the way, the Senate Armed Services Committee has already had access to, but the Senate's Chief Oversight Committee has had to fight to get access to. We are going to get access to that and to the classified annex of the Togo West Vern Clark report, which, by the way, I've already read in my capacity as an Armed Services Committee member. But we are still having an extremely difficult time getting access, particularly uh, to the members of the Joint Terrorism Task Force and to some of Major Hussan's uh, supervisors. We cannot connect the dots and find out what went wrong until we have access. So we are going to pursue this. Uh, if there is continued noncompliance, which based on our discussion with Deputy Secretary Lynn of the Defense Department uh, last Friday appears likely, we will next go to our full committee and ask for a vote to enforce the subpoena. Of course, the irony here is we will use our Senate legal counsel, but we may get into this strange situation where the Justice Department is enforcing the subpoena against the Justice Department. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But this really matters. We have an obligation to understand what, what happened. And let me mention, we're not seeking to interview the eyewitnesses to the shooting. Those are the people who are going to be called to testify in court. We're trying to get an understanding of what happened up to the day of the shooting so that we identify information sharing gaps that might have prevented the shooting in the first place. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much.